matches the Dory. Welcome to Cooking for Christmas with the Pastors. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. I'm excited to bring you something totally new, yeah. totally, and something totally helpful. We are going to make <laughs> your Christmas holiday better. It is our 100 year anniversary as a church. That's right. So we are pulling recipes from all the, from the decades that the church has been around. Mm. So today, our first episode, yeah. we are going to be pulling from the 19... 19- 20s. Wow. And we have our helper, Cora. Ah, yes. Brilliantly. My helpful black uh, lab. Brilliantly dressed in, in, in pearls. If we right. drop anything, she will take care of it for us. Are you ready yes. to make some figgy yes. pudding? Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding and a cup of good cheese. Just want to add a little eye campus to the, to the field today. Yes. And so we've gone with the slingshot, slingshot. today. Another this new is, one. It's a light, bright, juicy, and fruity with notes of stone fruit citrus and caca. All I, I taste is coffee. I'm sure I'll recognize the stone tasted. fruit. Now a traditional figgy pudding, what they would do is they would make mm. it like two weeks before Christmas. Okay. And they would steam it. It was mm. covered in like brandy. So it was mm. like preservative. Wow. And then they would wrap it up and like put it in the basement until Christmas. Wow. Okay. We don't have two weeks. We've got stuff to do. <laughs> okay. Right? So let me just tell you, there are a lot of figs. So these, are, these are like catamala. Uh-huh. Catamala. Or cal- calamurna. Calamurna. Uh, should I just eyeball it? Yeah. Okay. So this is the first oh, so time I'm thick. looking over this recipe. Right? We're learning together. Yeah. yeah. All the figs Ooh. too. Oh yeah. We make a mess. It's a lot. It's like, it's like a whole package of figs. Oh, so you do a lot of cooking around the house? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I always stir with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, ice cream It's scoop. easy to see and to dump. Okay. <laughs> and you know how you clean it? You don't have to go. You just go clean. <laughs> this is going to be a recipe this that becomes be a good? family tradition. Okay. All right. For years. Mm. Oh, you hear that music? What? It's our Run Run Rudolph music, which means, oh, yeah. Scott, I need you to find something in your yeah. own kitchen. Ooh, find me a cutting board. Cutting board? A cutting board. I'm so glad that you gave me something I know where it's at. <laughs> cutting board. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. No, that so was the easy one? You passed. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Okay. Why can't we ever do something as pastors that we're actually good at? You know? I mean, we're dancing tonight at the performance. We're cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> what, what would that be? What do you think that would be? <laughs> Let's play some sports. <laughs> <laughs> but the fig okay. is already pretty sweet, so I don't know. Is this normally how you measure your flour, Aaron? What? Absolutely. What, you put it in the bag? I do. That's actually probably a smarter way to do it. So in this bowl, we're going to beat the eggs. Beat them to death. What? It just says beat. <laughs> beat eggs in a large bowl with an electric can mixer. Oh my. Scott, <laughs> Where did find that? the electric can mixer. And I won't say how I know, but you have You one. guys oh, might know. One. Where was that? <laughs> okay. Electric can mixer. Ah, uh, yes, electric can mixer. And the beaters. Um, these are pretty important. Otherwise, you just. Oh, there they are. Amanda found them. <laughs> so then we beat this for one minute, all right? On high. It might be a tad less, but I went extra power on it. You did go extra like power. Like jackhammered the thing. All right, so now you put this mixture. Uh-oh. As I'm cutting the butter, run, run, Rudolph, we need you to find... Can you find a muffin tin? Find a muffin tin. <laughs> muffin tin. Did you see the look of terror on his face? Oh, muffin tin. You did a great job. <laughs> I know it's not <laughs> What? Did, I ran out of time. Muffin tin. I did get it though. Boom! Little, little muffies. Caught me off guard with that one. I need to see you zest an orange. Yeah, I can zest away. Do you know how to zest an orange? Yeah. Okay. Are they supposed to be that big? No. 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 Because you usually use a different tool. Oh. This is a 1920s staple. Mm. Okay. Only one person spit it in the garbage can last time. So <laughs> what are you talking about? You <laughs> keep talking about this oh. last time, like we filmed an entire episode and lost the footage. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to give you a food item, and you're going to tell me what decade this food item belongs okay, to. Okay, simple enough. Simple enough, okay? Let's go. Mac and cheese. 
I'll tell you my range, okay? Okay. I'm 1920 to 200. <laughs> yeah, 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 thanks. Oh, just 100 years. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, 60s or 70s, and okay. so I'll go 60s. It is actually the 2000s. What? When it was like oh, the most, thing. More, okay, like yeah. when it hit number one. Did you have Kraft in like the 80s? Oh. That was a tough one. Okay, oh, so now man. that you know the game, wow, way off. how about way off. spam? I say 50s. Is that your final answer? 40s. 40s! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! That's my first one right, yes. Slow cooker. Slow cooker. Beef stew. 80s. 70s. Yes. Very close. Deep Very close. It doesn't smell as it's good. Also. Does it? Doesn't? <laughs> Am I overheating the, the Hamilton? <laughs> How about? Um, yeah. It's more of an ingredient than okay. a food dish. Yeah. Sun-dried tomatoes. So the the sun-dried tomatoes is, is an easy one too because that came out in the 90s. <laughs> right yes. on into the 90s. Yes, 90s. Goodness, really? Gracious. You okay. are on point. Okay. Uh, kombucha. Oh, kombucha. kombucha. 2010. It is 2010. It is 2010. Wow, I'm like getting a passing grade now. Dude, that's high speed right there. That's what we're smelling is the thing smoking. Uh oh. Run, run, Rudolph. The thing stopped. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Did we burn it out? Yeah, it's actually Find on. me another hand mixer. I told you we smelled it burning. It's like two drumsticks, isn't it? I think it's gonna be delicious. You, can adjust you want me to show you something that's a little... Yes. That's kind of a secret? Yes. Okay, it's such yes. a secret that I keep it in a bag. Oreo cookie dough. <laughs> right? The edible the cookie dough? The pastors think I'm so healthy, right? And I'm, <laughs> I'm eating stuff like this? That's right. All right. In it goes, and then what does it say? Well, while the figgy pudding is in the oven, we're gonna we're gonna sip a nice Christmas of a beverage. This, this is a limited winter edition vanilla bean bold <laughs> ginger ale. Mm. Mm. That's right good. There. That's Isn't good. That good? When you were thinking about the iCampus mm -hmm. and the countdown that we do before our 10 o'clock service, yeah. what, 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 were, what were some of the thoughts going through your mind? What did you think about it? Finally a friend to talk to, right? <laughs> totally, right? I mean, I'm in radio for 10 years, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm yeah. talking by myself and, and, and trying to sound intelligent at 6 a.m. I was like, ah! Look forward to it every week. Oh, I do too, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But, but you're obviously a big coffee drinker. We drink co new kinds of coffee. I can tell bad coffee and good coffee now, right? Ooh, there you go. Yeah. I used to think like McDonald's coffee was good. <laughs> like, I like this stuff. And now I'm, right, I'm, right. I've, I've kind of crossed the snob territory. Yeah, well, we're, so especially with you and I trying <laughs> nitro and <laughs> cold brew and all this all these stuff. Things. What is the one sports moment you wish you could go back and see live? Like uh, be there when it happened. Seeing Michael Jordan make that shot. Elo, in yes, watching and that. He, yeah, and he jumps super high in the air and pumps his fist. I'll never forget that. All right, last question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ministry question. What about ministry brings you the most joy? Sunday mornings are delightful for me. They're like a like a Super Bowl every week. I really look forward to it. It's all these different teams, you know, working together. And to see them start to get it, right? Like instead of just saying hello and pointing to the bathroom or pointing to that class or showing them on the map, to see them get walk them with them yeah. and have those just two minute conversations is yeah. epic for me. Because it, it, it shows that a relationship is building and this is what we want to incorporate in the church okay. to make it a little bit smaller, as relation, make it as relational as possible. Were you ready to check our creation? Yeah. That yeah. biggie pudding. So let's let's head in there and see what we did. We'll do thin slices. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is something that Aaron made pre, so we don't have to wait another 71 minutes. This is figgy pudding, mud. Yeah, this is with this four is out of five stars. Four out of five star figgy pudding. <laughs> okay. That is very thin. The first plate is that dude. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Are you ready? Yes. So this is this is the. Should you bring this 1920s figgy pudding recipe to your Christmas party this season? All right. Oh, I got a big bite. That fig. Yeah, you get the crunchiness like flaxseed. Tastes pretty good. Yeah, round two was better. <laughs> round two of the mythical round one that we actually mm. never filmed. But. The presentation could be a little better. Now this is probably not very sure. Cool. It on probably it. needs a little sweetness on the top. Yeah, it's fine. We will post the recipe below. But right, do maybe. not send me the comments that your hand mixer broke too because I'm not <laughs> sending you one. Well, thanks for joining us and have a great day and a great Christmas. Merry Christmas.